गुड डे स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर मोनिका खेतरपाल आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ एम एस सी फाइनल फिजिक्स टूडे वी विल डील विद द टॉपिक क्वांटाइजेशन ऑफ स्पिन वेव्स इन अवर लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड मैग्नॉन्स एंड देयर डिस्पर्जन रिलेशन spin waves are oscillation in the relative orientation of spin on a lattice that means a spin waves is formed when in an atoms there is an random orientation of spins and this random orientation of spin form a wave like structure and the energy of these spin waves is quantized and the unit of energy of spin wave is termed as magnons and these magnons they are analogous to lattice vibrations or phonons now in our today's lecture we'll discuss the quantization condition of these spin waves for this purpose i am taking a system in which the total number of spin quantum number is n that means the if i have to find the resultant spin then i am taking the magnitude of each spin to be let capital s so the total spin quantum number will be capital n multiplied by s let the total spin is along the z direction now as we know that the total component cannot be along any particular direction because there is always precession of spins so we cannot take the total s component to be as equal to sz there will be some component along x as well as y direction so i am taking a site which is denoted by p and assuming that spin at x direction is u exponential iota pka minus omega t and the spin which is along y direction to have a amplitude y v which is equal to minus iota u so the spin along y direction will be minus iota u e raised to power iota <coughs> pka minus omega t and since the spin is not along z direction because of precession so we are taking the z component to be as sz to be equal to s minus u square upon 2s now as there are n number of spins i have multiplied the expression by n this gives me n sz equal to ns minus n u square upon 2s ns denotes the total number of spins so this will also be a number let me denote it by small number nk this nk denotes the number of magnons which have a wave vector k so my nk is n uk square upon 2s from here i get my amplitude uk square to be equal to 2 us 2s nk upon capital n this is the this gives me the amplitude of magnons and this condition is termed as quantization condition for spin wave now as we know that heisenberg exchange interaction energy between two spins neighboring spins sp and sp plus 1 it will be equal to minus 2j sp dot sp plus 1 let 
the angle between the two neighboring spins be phi and the magnitude of each spin is s then if the phase between them is phi then the energy will be uex minus 2j s square cos phi here i have shown these two spins this is my first spin sp this is another neighboring spin sp plus 1 and the angle between them is phi and the upper diagram shows the phase difference between these two spins at a particular time t and the phase is ka and we know we have expressed <coughs> the magnitude of amplitude by u from here i am going to find the value of angle phi in terms of phase ka for this purpose i am dropping a perpendicular from upper point to the line ac this is shown here as the phase is ka this small triangle will have an angle ka by 2 so from this triangle i can find the value of the length ab length ab will come out to be u sin ka by 2 as amplitude has a length equal to u so the here because you, i have shown the precession of spins and the length ac comes out to be minus 2u sin ka by 2 this is obtained using the phase ka similarly from the triangle aoc we can have a value similar as Minus 2s sine phi by 2. So equating them, I can get the value of angle phi. <coughs> From these two expressions, I get my sine phi by 2 to be equal to u by s sine k a by 2. So cos phi, which is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square phi by 2, it comes out to be 1 minus 2u square by s square sin square k a by 2 my exchange energy can be obtained by putting the value of cos phi this exchange energy is minus 2j s square multiplied by 1 minus 2 u square s square sin square k a by 2 the total interaction energy of spin systems is minus 2j n s square plus 4j n u square sin square k a by 2 and since we know 2 sin square theta by 2 is equal to 1 minus cos theta the exchange energy total interaction energy comes out to be Minus 2j n s square plus 2j n u square, 1 minus cos k a. So, as we know, if we have two spins which are aligned parallel, the energy will be equal to minus 2j n s square. Hence, the energy change. That means the excitation energy. of a spin wave will be denoted by this factor which is 2j n u k square 1 minus cos k a and we have already find out the value of u k square which is 2s n k upon capital n so substituting the value of u k square i get the excitation energy of a spin wave which has a wave vector k it comes to be 2j multiplied by 2s small nk upon capital n multiplied by a factor of n 1 minus cos ka my excitation energy is 4js 
वन माइनस कॉस के ए मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एन के एंड इन आवर लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिराइव द डिस्पर्जन रिलेशन फॉर मैग्नॉन्स विच वॉज फोर जे एस वन माइनस कॉस के ए इक्वल टू एच क्रॉस ओमेगा के यूजिंग दिस डिस्पर्जन रिलेशन I have my energy to be n k h cross omega k. This expression clearly shows that that magnons are quanta of energy h cross omega k. And it is we are well familiar with the fact that phonons are quanta of lattice wave energy. phonons are quanta of sound waves which also have energy which is quantized in terms of h cross omega thanks a lot for watching